Having analyzed the results of its activity for the last year, the management of our company decided to conduct an advertising campaign. As part of our marketing strategy, we plan to start packaging our popular product in individual polyethylene bags. We plan to package our powder for coals by dosing it into individual sachets. The packaging process consists of batching bulk drugs into a variety of plastic and glass containers. The main criteria of the search were, firstly the equipment should be fully automated, feeding of the bag, seam welding, trimming. Secondly, the machine control should be simple and clear. The machine was planned to be located in the assembly and packing shop. An important condition was to ensure the output of not less than 2,000 bags per day in one shift operation of the plant and the possibility of increasing it in the future. It was planned to use transparent plastic bags to produce the drug. As a technologist, I understand that at all stages of production, it is important to comply with the requirements for pharmaceuticals. The level of humidity, the temperature in the room. In pharmaceutical production it is necessary to carry out analytical quality control of raw materials and finished products. We must use quality equipment to meet the requirements of the hygienic services. Therefore, I took the choice of automatic equipment for packaging the drug in polyethylene bags seriously. I began to solve the difficult problem with the most popular way search on the internet. On the recommendation of colleagues, the first thing I did was to look for European manufacturers. By myself I chose two companies, one in Italy and one in the Netherlands. After sending a request to their email, three days later I received a reply from the Italian company, which said that they could not deliver equipment due to the suspension of its production. The company from the Netherlands wrote in the email that they do not work with CIS countries. The first step did not turn out to be a good one for me. I understood that there are no hopeless situations, so I continued looking for a solution. I found similar equipment for filling powder into bags from three Chinese manufacturers. I contacted them by phone. Managers of the companies I chose did not answer me. Can their machine seal seams? Cut the bags automatically. Will it provide an output of 300 bags per hour when you can get a finished machine? To all of these questions I heard the phrase, we'll do it. One company started talking to me in Chinese and I ended the conversation. In the end I came to the conclusion that I myself will not be able to choose the equipment for filling bags and decided to turn to a specialist. I needed a professional who would give complete information about the machine, its features, test the equipment with our material, talk about delivery terms. It was decided not to consider Chinese intermediaries from the very beginning because often manufacturers from China have their own direct resellers. I did not want to go through this stage all over again so I decided to turn to Russian intermediaries for help. I made the choice of a specialist, based on the following criteria, long period of work in the market of pharmaceutical equipment sales, positive customer feedback, the availability of information on the company's website, and convenient terms of delivery of the machine. According to these parameters, I selected four companies. Having sent all my requests via an email, I still have not received a response from two of them. One company from Samara warned me, that they do not have their own adjuster, and that all installation work must be done by myself. This option did not suit me. Only one manager from Moscow was able to quickly give me competent and constructive answers to my questions. I also liked the business-like approach of this specialist. The manager of this company was polite, asked a lot of clarifying questions about the required capacity of the equipment, what material we choose for packing, loading volume. After preliminary consultation over the phone, the specialist suggested automatic equipment for packing powder into plastic bags. I coordinated this option with the management of our company, and we concluded a contract for the delivery of the chosen machine. During the whole period of manufacturing, I received an email report about the readiness of the order. The machine was delivered in the time specified in the contract. An individual pouch was formed from a PVC film reel, and our powder came in. The equipment was made of stainless steel, control is simple and straightforward. All processes are automated, welding seams, trimming with the display of indicators on the control panel. Experience showed that the decision to ask for help from a professional in the choice of automatic filling equipment was the right one. By talking to a real professional, I became a bit smarter myself, learned a lot, and am absolutely sure that a good teacher is one whose words and deeds don't differ. I checked this out on my own experience.